Okay, he's me here. I've got a desktop show and tell for a little plushie I just bought from uh, it's from from the game uh, Girls Frontline. So I just got it today. So uh, we're gonna do a little unboxing and we're just gonna we'll take a look at. It. So this is a this is the uh, Row or R zero six three five plushie from like when she was a diner gate. <laughs> um, so there it is. Uh, I interesting thing note. I actually seen this uh, at the uh, at the girls' frontline booth at a uh, anime expo. But they weren't selling her, so I, I totally wanted to get one. So for some reason, I feel that. I feel that the ones they had at Anime Expo were a lot smaller, um, and that, yeah, they wouldn't sell her. So, so anyway, uh, I went and uh, bought her from a eBay seller for uh, thirty-three ninety-eight with five dollar ninety-eight shipping, so it comes out to about forty dollars ish. So, and it came from China, so that's where it says in the package. So, it actually got here pretty quick. Surprising, it took like maybe like a week or two. So, um, so yeah, and it says this is the official uh, Girls Frontline uh, merchandise. So, let's go check her out. So this is the box that it came in. As you can see, it's uh, quite beat up, but that's okay. It's a plushie. So, let's go open her up. By the way, uh, Ro is is one of my waifus, so <laughs> I actually gave her to Ofring. There's this kind of packaging here, and there she is. It looks like I got a little something extra right here. So the the seller said they would give me an extra, like an acrylic keychain of her, because uh, because I actually I bought her for a cheaper price, and then they they said like they listed her at the wrong price. So let's go open this up. So there's a little note that says there is a layer of protective film on the surface of the keychain and it can be removed. So as you can see, I have some some girls frontline uh, keychains up there already. Um, I could not get any of the ART in one of those things. So so there it is. It's my favorite. Uh, it's one of my favorite illustrations in the girls frontline, by the way. Let's take her out. Let's take this out of the package. So I guess this is kind of like a two for one uh, <laughs> show and tell. Okay, and she's pretty much just like those uh, those ones up there, but has rope. Nice. So let's go. Uh, comes with a, a base. It says R zero six three five on it. Team A R. There you go. This is my first. Uh, AR team uh, keychain, and it did say that there is a plastic uh, plastic protector on it. I guess I can take that out. So it looks nice and clear. Should have probably taken it out before I put it on the base. Okay. Is there one on each side? There it is. I think it really is just on one side. Okay. What ifs? Okay. Well, there she is. I guess you can put her either way you want. Put her right there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so there's the uh, the row plushie. So this, uh, if you guys don't know, this is from uh, Girls Frontline, and row was. Uh, I don't want to give any spoilers, but this is from uh, Continuum Turbulence. Um, this, uh, something happened to Ro. Unfortunate happened to her, and uh, she got stuck in this uh, in this form. <laughs> so let's say I don't, don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't thing yet. But uh, all right, so we can take a look at the plushie real quick. Let's just set the uh, 
keychain aside here. Put her up here. Okay. So there's the plushie. You can see it's got a big, uh, big kind of eyeball there that all the diner gates have. The big kind of laser eyeball. And then it's got her signature uh, kind of megaphone here. And it's yellow. So you'll actually, you'll also recognize this from the April, it's almost April Fool's Day. So if you go log on to, uh, to Girls Frontline on the American server or whatever, um, you may, they may uh, have the, uh, um, the, the row, uh, the row diner gate <laughs> the, the, in the, in the game again. So, uh, yeah, so like there's actual, uh, you can actually use her in this form uh, during uh, April Fools, at, at least last year. I don't know if 2019, but I don't know about 20, 2020 this year. So, so anyway, there's a there's the plushie right there. It kind of looks like a like a like a, a nigiri sushi. <laughs> this is what, what it uh, reminds you of. Okay, it says row right here on both sides. There's the megaphone. It's pretty much the same on both sides. Um, let's go take a look at the bottom. So here it says on the tag, it says Girls Frontline Dango Collection IOP Merchandise Division. Okay. Sunborn Network Technology. So there you go. So this, is, this is official Girls Frontline Merchandise. Go. It's got a Griffin and Kruger uh, logo, and I guess the one that makes the plushie is Kemoi. All right, so there it is. It's got it's like a little pillow. It's got little. It's got four little legs here that I kind of don't really hold itself up. Oh, there's some like stuff coming out. Very nice. I like it. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Let's get another quick 360 of her. And so that is the R0635, or as we know, as we, everyone calls her, Row. Okay, so there you go. That's the Row uh, Diner Get plushie. Um, you, can, you can get her from a seller on eBay from China. Um, and this, is, this looks like it's official... Uh, Girls Frontline merchandise. Pretty nice. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. So I'm really happy. I have to have, I have to get it. Because <laughs> she's my Raifu. Alright. It's big out. Um, we'll just do a quick 360 of it. And then, then that'll be it. Alright. <laughs>